Hey everyone, it is Crystal with Pineapple Papers and I have my last uh, design team project for the month of August using the Golden Days kit. So um, I am starting with this plaid, which I have gutted. And then off screen, I have uh, cut down some scraps into uh, these hearts. So I've just taken a die cut and cut out these hearts. I also cut my two photos in that shape as well. Um, and I want to stack them up. So, and I'm kind of thinking I want to put them kind of like on this uh, frazzle is like a string, like they're hanging down. So I was trying to decide, do I want it to go over? Do I want it to go under? Like, how do I want this to look? Do I want to punch holes? Um, and I'm contemplating between the two frazzles, uh, the polka dot one and the pink yellow one, the pink yellow one, the, the yellow with pink floral one. Um, and so I'm thinking I don't want it on top of it, but you can see right there I'm kind of toying with the idea. So I do like this design. I didn't want the plaid heart to be close to the plaid border. Uh, I do have a piece of plain white cardstock and I'm just kind of uh, putting a few embellishments around and kind of decorating the hearts a little bit to kind of see if this is kind of what I'm liking. And I do like it, um, especially now that I look at it, I'm like, I really, I really do like it. And here's where I'm being a little frugal. So to me, there's no sense in putting the frazzle all the way behind these hearts, knowing that there is a good chance that you're not going to see them. So I decided to cut off just the littlest piece, attach it to the heart, and I'm gonna tuck it into where that uh, white paper meets. So here's where I'm like, okay, well, maybe I don't want them vertical. Maybe I want them horizontal. So I do do a, quite a bit of fussing uh, with this layout. When you look at it, when it's all done, you're like, that was really simple. Why did that take you so long? Um, but you know, you want to try different things out. So, so you could replicate this layout with different shapes. Number one, and you could do, uh, you could do a horizontal or you could do a vertical. Um, I think both of them looked really well. So. I decided I wanted to ink the edges of my paper. I think this was scattered straw. If it's not, it's fossilized amber. <laughs> um, I did show you, but I was looking at my layout and not paying attention to uh, what I was doing on the video. So that, that doesn't really help, does it? <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna take my little dauber and create that little haze uh, on the edge of the layout. And then I'm going to go ahead and secure that white cardstock. Now, I felt like when the hearts were vertical, that it didn't need anything. But when I turned them horizontal, it's almost like they weren't taking up as much space on the layout. And so I felt like I wanted to kind of bring them together without them touching. So this, this is me not ever throwing away the packaging from uh, Color Rescues because look, it works. It's like the perfect for the packaging technique. So I'm just adding my little cube of Distress Ink and some water and I did the packaging technique and then I'm just going to add some splatters and looking at the layout right now you can see a few of the splatters but I'm pretty much going to cover all of those splatters up where the hearts are going to go so and that's okay 
like that doesn't bother me. So I'm just going to clean off that packaging, put it to the side because I will probably use it again later. So you can see I have moved my frazzle to the side and I'm going to cut off an extra piece and I'm going to put it uh, on the other side. So now I have now I have both of them. Perfect. Um, so it looks like it's going all the way through, but you can see my little cheating and you know it's not. And then I'm not wasting it and I can use it on many more projects. So <laughs> why I decided to grab my tear tape, I don't know. I don't have a good reason. Um, it works totally fine because then you have like extra adhesive on it uh, versus adding washi tape and then adding adhesive on top of it. So, I mean, either way, totally up to you. So I decided that my photos needed to be on top. So it works fine on the top row because it's the last one, but then on the bottom, uh, it would have been covered up. So it it's just, I just placed it on top. So I have two photos and these photos are of uh, Good Friday and our church does Stations of the Cross around the courthouse and uh, my kids always go. Uh, sometimes I can get the day off, but not, not too often. Um, and uh, my daughter got to carry the cross and uh, my son's girlfriend's mom was there. So she took pictures and she sent them to me, which I thought was super cool. And then um, I went ahead and put those down and now I'm just going to do some embellishing. So I knew I wanted to add this pure gold acrylic piece from the acrylic kit and originally I was thinking I wanted it on a heart but I think now that it is horizontal I think it fits perfectly in between the hearts and I'm going to get two other acrylic hearts on there both in gold I'm going to add a couple of florals some of them are fussy cut florals some are die cuts and then I'm also going to add um, this cute little green bow. I, I love these bows. They, they're stunning. So I'm going to put it on that heart, paper heart right there. Um, there were several places I, I could put it, but I really like how it looks on top of that. And then I'm also going to grab two of the wood veneer hearts, hearts, florals, and I'm going to put them on the layout as well. And then I'm actually going to take a little heart punch and... Uh, I punched out three little hearts from the polka dot paper. So I'm going to add those. I also add a rainbow die cut. And I'm going to add another piece of that frazzle at the beginning of the title. So that is going to do it for... Uh, this layout. I will have a layout share so you can see um, all the layouts that I made uh, with this August kit at the end of the month, so probably on Saturday, so stay tuned for that. Um, and you need to head over and get yourself some of these kits because they are stunning. And uh, if you need if you need a discount code, I got one. So Crystal 10, that'll save you 10% in the shop. So that is going to do it for me today. Remember to wear your clothes.